Major changes coming to NXT. A long absent NXT star returns to the ring. A top TNA star is bringing back an old gimmick and TNA TV tapings are cancelled. Hello and welcome to What Culture Wrestling, the solo Sunday news here. Myself, Andrew Pollard. I hope you well. I hope you good. I hope your weekend is going as well as it possibly can. All right, let's start off with NXT. Now, of course, NXT is set to premiere on the CW this coming week, this coming Tuesday. Uh, and the brand is set to undergo some pretty significant changes by all accounts. Now, this comes from Corey Brennan of Fightful Select, who notes that changes are being made to the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Of course, NXT is on the road for the next two weeks. They're heading to Chicago on Tuesday, then St. Louis the, the, the following Tuesday. As such, WWE is using this as an opportunity to have a bit of a, a spruce up, I guess you could call it. Uh, now, this report notes how the existing NXT set was taken down following this past NXT, uh, past week's NXT episode, with the, the set to be updated. Now, it's unclear whether there will be a slightly updated look or a new set entirely for the brand but we'll obviously have to wait and see how things look in two weeks time because obviously they'll be on the there'll be a different field to nxt for the next two shows while they're on the road but the performance center set has been in place since the start of nxt 2.0 so since then i mean the, the 2.0 set has changed the color scheme has has changed obviously it's been slightly tweaked it's not quite as uh garish i guess you would say not quite as neon Neon Nightmare, nightmare. Uh, but it does look like there's going to be some changes in place for NXT, which kind of seems like a natural fit. Um, it's just the case we're going to have to wait for two weeks to see him properly because, yeah, it's it feels like it's it's overdue a little bit of a tidy up. And I think with the, the move to the CW, with the two big shows coming up on the road, then you want the, you want things to look a bit different and feel a bit special uh, when uh, when NXT returns to the Performance Center. So we'll have to see how that, that looks in a couple of weeks' time. But sticking with NXT, speaking of NXT, uh, long absent NXT talent made their Turn to the ring this weekend. That talent being Nikita Lyons. Now, Nikita last wrestled back in January, losing a TV match to Blair Davenport. Um, after that, she unfortunately suffered a torn ACL that required surgery, uh, with the expectation she'd be out for somewhere between nine months and a year. Skip forward to the end of September, and here she is back in a ring. Uh, this, of course, unfortunately, was Nikita's second such injury because February 2023, that was another ACL tear and a meniscus tear. Uh, but she returned to the ring at a Davenport, Florida house show over the weekend, team with Dante Chen to pick up a win over Izzy Dame and Jasper Troy. So Lizzie Dame, Jasper Troy. Jasper Troy is a name that wasn't one familiar to me so i did some digging uh antoine fraser a former football player for the university of northern ohio so yeah uh, another athlete through the doors um got a year experience under the belt but they were in action with lizzie game against dante chen and uh, nikita lines and you have to imagine it's probably not going to be too long until nikita's back on proper nxt programming uh probably you'd expect she'd work the live event circuit to get some reps under her belt after such a, a long spell on the sidelines because what we're talking nine months so that's a and for it to be a, a second acl tear you're gonna take things slowly with a recovery. I think just bed her in a bit on the on the house shows. Get her, get her some reps. Uh, then I mean she could always pop back on TV without wrestling just yet. But it's just good to see Nikita Lyons back in a wrestling ring because um, this is somebody who. I don't know, it just it seems like there's there's so much potential there. The future's extremely bright. Still only 25 years of age, been wrestling since she was 19, previously worked for Win the Wrestling. Uh, and one of those to debut under the NXT 2.0 banner. Uh, just unfortunately, uh, her progress has been hampered by injuries once that brand started to move away from all of the 2.0 stripped back on the knee, on the glowy, the whatever was going on with, with the setup of that. Um, so NXT kind of got a little bit more serious. Of course, there's lots of daftness still in NXT. But the key is kind of only scratch the surface with that um so yeah good to see it back in the ring hopefully it won't be too long before she's back on tv um and uh yeah best of luck there with that um sticking over to uh from nxt to tna and more specifically to jeff hardy actually even more specifically to Willow. Yes, Willow, Willow the Wisp. Uh, speaking during a recent appearance on the Battleground podcast, uh, Jeff Hardy's revealed that he'll be bringing the Willow gimmick back to TNA at some point, uh, as he put it. Well, I can tell you that it'll look different than it did last time because there was a new version of the Willow faceplate face place plate mask in the making and it looks pretty sick like sick in a good way so yeah before it's all said and done willow will definitely return here in total non-stop action so willow is um uh it's an interesting old gimmick if you're only familiar with jeff hardy for uh wwe and AEW, you'll be thinking like what what is what is willow now willow 
is a gimmick that dates all the way back to the Hardys' younger days when they first put together their Omega promotion. Uh, to be specific, that was Will of the Wisp, and he'd use that gimmick again briefly after his 2003 WWE release, where he'd appear for Omega again, did some shows for Ring of Honor as, as Willow, uh, and then Willow would sit up in TNA in what would it be, early 2014 for a run? And then there was the 2016 storyline where Jeff was attacked by a gang of fake Willows, which was actually kind of really, uh, I guess what you think of it, that was really the start of the whole broken Matt Hardy gimmick because Matt would be unmasked as one of the fake Willows and he now had that the odd accent, the crazy hair. Uh, he'd start calling Jeff Brother Nero. Yeah, um, so that's kind of where, where broken Matt Hardy uh, started. And more recently, there were some rumblings that Willow might make an appearance during the Hardys' run with AEW, but of course, ultimately, that never came to pass for whatever reason. But either way, it sounds like Willow is on the way back to TNA at some point down the line. As, as Jeff said, a, a new gnarly, sick mask is being worked on. Um, so it's always... Um, it's never a dull moment with, with Willow. That's, that's all I'll say, for better or for, or for worse. Um, now, sticking with TNA, um, a, a very, obviously, uh, serious story here. Um the latest set of t TNA TV tapings has now been completely cancelled. Now, these tapings were initially set to put, take place in Spartanburg, South Carolina, this past Friday and Saturday. And then we'll move to tomorrow and Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, due to Hurricane Helene. Uh, TNA put out a statement just to say basically they've cancelled the, the tapings completely for now. Uh, the statement reads, The safety and well-being of our TNA wrestlers, staff, crew and fans are top priority. The TNA will provide an update on refunds for the Spartanburg shows, as well as an update on future additional shows. Now, obviously, just absolutely horrific damage being done at the moment by the hurricane. The, the last news report I saw this morning, there was, I think it was at least 63 people have lost their lives, 400 roads closed, millions of people without power. So, yeah, best wishes for myself and all of us here. I, I speak for all of us at What Culture Wrestling. If for anyone affected by this in those areas, then stay safe, be well. Um, and it's, it's worth noting as well as a, a slight side effect of see they cancelling these TV tapings entirely uh, that's freed up Joe Hendry to compete for House of Glory tonight uh, previously Joe Hendry was due to face uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not done the clap and he's not appeared so I'm, I'm, my batteries are clearly running low um, but yeah previously Joe Hendry was due to face Joey Janela for HOG tonight um, but that was rescheduled due to the TNA tapings being moved so that appearance had to be cancelled but it's now been confirmed that Joe Hendry will indeed be in action for House of Glory later today um, if you've not checked out House of Glory don't be sleeping on the promotion just there's there's so much fun in, in House of Glory. Mike Santana absolutely killing it as a HOG world champion. And tonight's Believe in the Glory is available on Trilla TV as usual. I will be watching. Well, I, I'll say that I'll be watching tomorrow because of time differences and whatnot. Uh, also, shout out to the Solar Monster too. He does commentary for HOG and does a fantastic podcast, the Sound Off. Um, but speaking of shout outs, to end this video on a, a slightly more heartwarming note, should we say, a video serviced over the weekend of Larry meeting Bianca Belair. As in Larry, CM Punk's dog, named after Larry Talbot of the Wolfman fame. You've got Larry. It's only like kind of I don't know, 20, maybe 30 seconds. It's Larry in like a little buggy. CM Punk chatting to Triple H. I believe he's backstage at this last week's Raw. Um, and then Bianca Belair walks in and makes a big fuss of the good old boy. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it's just one of those. When you've got, you log onto Twitter or X and you just see so much like, uh, what is this? Just so much dross, so much hate, so much negative stuff. And then you see a clip of just a, a, a little cute little doggy making a big old fuss at Bianca Belair. Uh, yeah, it's just like, yeah, man, that's what I'm there for on social media. So with that said, I am off to do other stuff. There is another video floating around here. So continue your YouTube journey. I, I've been Andrew Pollard. This has been What Culture Wrestling, the solo Sunday news. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I hope it goes as well as possible for you.